Hi guys and welcome back to Sparajo Madrid. My name is Daniela. I'm showing you a full house today with some rooms available in about a five minute walk from Arturio Soria. I think you're gonna like it. Come with me. Okay guys, so this is the view from the front door and as you can see we are right in the living room. This is a full house. Now tenants are very much currently living here so there will be a lot more stuff. Um, bedroom number one is now available very soon. V bedroom number two will be available eventually and bedroom number three I believe eventually as well but just so you get an idea. Okay, so this would be the living room. So you can see it's quite the family house. We have the front door right there, a window right there that goes to a front yard. And then we have some furniture over here. And there's a puppy right there, a very, very friendly puppy. Um, we have TV over here, a lot of um, cabinets and uh, coffee tables here. The puppy belongs to bedroom number three, which is the most likely, the least likely to become available soon. So it might be here if you choose to move into bedroom one or two. Okay, um, over here we have a sitting room. We have um, the another couch here with a couple of chairs and a coffee table. We have some furniture over here, another TV over here, and uh, another some more furniture over here with you know plates and DVDs and whatnot. We have right there uh, the chandelier, and over on this side we have a desk area um, for the tenant of bedroom number three and some, you know, personal belongings over there. If we go through here, we actually have bathroom number one. It's, uh, it's just a toilet and a sink. There's no shower in this one. Those are upstairs and we'll see them in a minute. But it's sort of like uh, when you have people over, we have the small bathroom over here. Right over here, we move to the kitchen. It's a fully equipped kitchen. We have um, gas stoves over here, which is just better than electric ones. We have a an oven, we have a toaster coffee maker, over here we have cabinets with, you know, pantry space and it has plates, pans and everything you need. If we turn this way we have some counter space here, we have uh, the sink right here and if we lift here we see that we have a place to dry and you know, just cups it has everything you need for cooking. Microwave and over here, you know, just cutlery and whatnot. So more storage with um, cooking supplies. This would be the kitchen. So you can see here we have this really nice um, tile on the kitchen all around. And over here we have a little private patio. So you can see we have this wooden floor right here. It's partly roofed. And it's, uh, this area here is used sort of a, as a trastero, you know, just for like general keeping of things, you have a bike or anything, just general things that you want to store away. There's some space over here for that. Like that. And we have some trees in there and it's always nice to have some plants close by. Okay, so this would be the first floor of the house because it's a full on house. We're walking past, we're doing little turns here just so you guys can check it out. Back to this living room, and then we go to the stairs. Over here, we climb through the stairs, up through here, and we reach the landing right here, and we see four doors. So we walk through this. This right here would be bedroom number one. This will be the one more uh, immediately available. We have this bed right here. Something that's cool about this is that you can actually lift it up and it becomes, you know, part of the wall. So you get a little bit more space here if you want to. We have a full length mirror here. And we have a whiteboard right here. We also have some, um, you know, a little bit of of closet space. Again, tenants are still here, so it needs to be cleared out more, but this will be the space that we have available. We have a little uh, table right there, some drawers, a little shelf, and we have a desk right here with some shelving. Again, it needs to be cleared out soon. And we also have some space for storage right there. I don't want to open too much because it would be very intrusive, but this would be 
the general gist of the room right here, bedroom number one. And over here, it actually is the only bedroom that has its own sort of balcony right here. As you can see, we have the balcony here, and it goes to the street. Seems to be a pretty quiet street right there. Okay. So we close this over here, and we continue on. Okay. To back to the landing and to bedroom uh, number two. A little bit more spacious, as you can see. We have the double bed right there. We have a futon right here. I don't want to get too closer because there's some personal images. Again, someone is still occupying this bedroom. Bedroom number one will be available very soon. This will take a little bit more time. We have some shelves here. And let's check out the window view right there. So that's the same view as the other one. And then we have this very big closet on this side, as you can see. I'm gonna try to open a little bit so you guys know what's up, but again, I can't, I don't wanna be too intrusive. They're very large, they go all the way over there. And, you know, all the way over there. Very large closets. And we also have cabinets right there. If we turn around, we see that we also have some desk space and we have a few like um, drawers here for you to fill. I don't want to be too intrusive again, but as you can see, there is space over here as well, full length mirror. So this would be bedroom number two. Let's give it a, a once over right there, right there. Okay. We move now on to bathroom number two. This would be the bathroom for the two bedrooms we just saw. We have right there uh, the sink, pretty big sink, little shelf here, mirror. We have some uh, storage space here as well. We have this pretty big uh, full tub right there with a removable shower head. And if we turn around, we see that we have a, uh, I'm sorry, toilet and a bidet. We have a full-length mirror right here, and some more space for storage right here. Okay, and that would be the bathroom number two. And then last but not least, we have a bedroom number three. This is the largest of uh, all three bedrooms, and the last one to possibly be unoccupied, so the person living here will probably be living here with you um, when, if you move into one or maybe two, this, it's a very, very nice gentleman with, um, the puppy downstairs. Well, the dog, it's an older dog. Um, we have a big dresser right here with some, a storage space. Over here we have a closet. Again, I don't want to be too intrusive. I'll we'll open just a little bit right there. Full length mirror. And we have also this closet space right there. Again, don't want to open too much, but that would be the closet. There's two closets. We have a big, very comfortable looking double bed over here. We have a nightstand right here. We also have some built-in shelves right here, really nice with this yellow wall. And we have a little another nightstand over here with some drawers. And the view is the inner patio, so as you can see, we're just seeing sort of the insides of other buildings right there. Very, very quiet. And we have be uh, bathroom number three. It's really nice yellow bathroom with a little window right here. Some space for toiletries. We have this really nice sink, little mirrors, these beautiful plants. And we have toilet and then a bit of space for, you know, general storage. And over here we have a shower right there, the removable shower head. Then you can add there and right there. And that would be it for the video tour, you guys. Well, guys, that was it for today. I really hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye.